All right, starting 2.2, the fundamental accounting principle. Okay, we kind of uh, learn this without knowing we learned it, okay? Um, so the fundamental accounting principle is that if one event occurs m ways, so a certain amount of ways, and a second event occurs a different number of ways, then together they occur m times m ways. So it'll be the one event times the other event. Uh, so m times n. We kind of touched on this when I did the example with the shirts and ties. So I had four dress shirts, sorry, three dress shirts and four ties. So it was three times four is 12. So the three dress shirts is one event. And then the, the ties were another event. So three times four was 12. Okay, so number one here, Ethan is buying an iPhone 11. He has the choice of two different phones. Uh, three different capacities and three different colors. How many different combinations are possible? Well, if we have two phones, then we can multiply by the three different, different capacities that those two have, and then times it again by the three different colors. So all we have to do is multiply the options together. So two times three times three gives you 18 different combinations. Okay, so instead of making a, a tree diagram, which would take a lot of space and a lot of time, we could just multiply them together. Okay, moving on to question two. Okay, a bank has a four digit password for debit cards. How many different passwords are possible? So you have, uh, banks often now uh, have four, five, or six numbers in for passwords. Um, I think it's the most common one is four digits. Excuse me. Please try to, re please refrain from trying to use zero, one, two, three as your password or one, two, three, four, or all zeros. Uh, make it something unique so it's not easy to for someone to access it. Okay, so this is how we're gonna tag, tackle it. So we have four digits. So we're gonna have our first number, our second, our third, and fourth. Okay, so having a code, you have to put it in, in order. Okay, so we have the first, the second, the third, and fourth. So we have to think, so how many options do we have for our first digit? Okay, so digits being from zero to nine. So how many options do we have for the first number? Well, that is 10 options. Okay, so we have 10 options for the first number in our um, passcode. Okay, so we have 10, for, so from zero to nine. So remember zero is an option, so that's your 10th digit. Okay, so once we choose our first one, then we have to choose a second um, number for our password. Okay, so here we also have another 10 options. Okay, so we can use any number from zero to nine once again. It, do, it says, doesn't say, if you can, doesn't have any restrictions on repetition. So we can use the same number twice, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we have 10 options for the first, we have 10 options for the second, and then we also have a 10 options for the third spot and 10 options for the fourth spot. Okay, so 10, so zero nine zero nine zero nine zero nine. Okay, so when we and then we multiply them all together, so we get ten, a hundred, a thousand, ten thousand possible combinations for a password for a four-digit bank card. Okay, now the second spot, next part of the question it says, well, what if you weren't allowed? to pick the same number twice. So you weren't allowed to use the same number more than one time. So if you picked, say, eight for this spot, you can no longer use eight again in the rest of the spots. So we have four spots once again. So the first spot, you have options from zero to nine. So you choose one of the numbers, so you have 10 numbers to choose from. Once you choose one number, you can no longer use it again. So 
if I take one number here, so yeah, say I use the number zero, so that means I can't use it again, and now I'm only left with nine choices for my second spot. Okay, so if I use one number here, I can't use it again, so then my total decreases by one. Okay, likewise, when we hit this spot, we choose another number, so we can no longer use that number again. So then our next, for our next spot, we have eight options. And then for our last spot, we have seven options. And that gives you, I think, I'm going to write 5,940. I'm just going to double check. Okay, so again, if, you, if you're allowed to repeat or there aren't any restrictions, it says 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. But if it says you have a restriction, you can't use the same number twice, then our total decreases each time. So 10, 9, 8, 7. Okay, I believe that's the whole lesson there. So your homework questions are page 73, 73, 1 to 10, 13, Okay, I hope everyone is well, and I will see you guys soon.